Hello everybody, Sky here, the Unaccompanied Miner. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for a redstone tutorial. Today I am showing you guys a random pulse generator using only two blocks. So this design is all about the redstone ore and armor stands. So if you didn't know, the redstone ore, when a entity steps on it, is going to produce light, but it's also going to change its block state for, uh, well, until it receives its next random block tick, which is the random block updates that happen during random ticks. Um, the average time that it takes to for this to normally occur is about six. 68 seconds. That's just on average. It could happen sooner or, uh, you know, a, a touch later. Um, but the nice thing about these updates is when they are, um, when they happen, it's something the observer can detect. So that's kind of what all of this is about. So the way you make this bad boy is you put down a redstone ore, which you get by uh, silk touching redstone, uh, and then you place an observer facing into it armor stand on top of the redstone ore and bam that is your random pulse generator um, so I was originally designing this because um, for a future build I have on existence I want to um, some minecarts going back and forth um, but I didn't I didn't ever want them to look like they were on a schedule so uh, I kind of came up with this randomizer as I was messing around with things um, this is completely tileable if you need this to happen more often than not um, you just make more of them and you will get the output more often uh, we do have the random ticks turned up um, that was multiplied by 10 so this is normal tick speed so this is kind of the rates you would see with this many um, of the generators at once. Um, you can compact this even more, especially if um, you need a design that uh, doesn't have an armor stand exposed. You can break this down into three blocks by just pushing the observer, which is face down, into that redstone ore using some pistons. So let's actually go like that. And bam. So the redstone ore is going to be constantly activated by that armor stand, which is actually inside of these two blocks right now. This block can be whatever you would like. Um, it's just the block that you're going to be pulling the redstone signal off of. So if we go like that and just put a repeater coming out of it with a lamp on top like so, and then we just uh, bust up the, the speed here, we will see that this is going to start outputting every time this redstone or has that random block update to it. Uh, so this is uh, pretty useful. Um, you can use it for any Ooh, got some flying sugar cane over here. You can use it for anything you kind of just want a intermittent pulse for. So over here, let's let's break this down into a, a more reasonable speed. Over here, I've just got it hooked up to a tiny little sugar cane farm. So um, I'm just using one observer, and every once in a while, we're gonna get that random tick that's gonna cause the slime blocks to push uh, these into the water stream. That's not a perfect farm, it's not lossless, that's not what this is, tutorial is about. Um, but yeah, it's got a bunch of different applications and it is small and compact. So you guys, that is going to be it for me today. Um, one kind of last word I want to get out there is that this does need to be built in an entity processing chunk. So if you need to have redstone contraptions that are working you know, over, you know, 16 or 8 block, or excuse me, 8 uh, chunk radius away from you. This probably isn't the design you're looking for. This is more for chunks that will be loaded and processing entities. Uh, so, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe for more unaccompanied minor things and videos. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.